Good morning and welcome back to another video. Today's video could potentially be quite exciting because I find out if I'm doing the London Marathon today. I'm not expecting to get in. I know the chances are slim. I know people really struggle getting in and stuff like that. But I thought it'd be cool just to vlog today and see if I get it, see what my plans are, if I do, if I don't. And yeah, if you're wondering why there's a dog sat on me, she loves, she loves looking out the window. refreshing it and refreshing it and then it, the website crashed and yeah I'm gonna get into it but I'm actually quite happy about it so I'll explain that later but I do feel relieved this whole run walk thing is incredibly painful when the weather's this cold So it's the day after I found out that I didn't get into London Marathon. I found out yesterday, went straight out for a run, came back and I just felt a little bit deflated. I wasn't ever expecting to get into London Marathon and to be honest, doing a marathon has never really been something that I've necessarily wanted to do or put my body through. But for some reason recently, I just have this desire to challenge myself and to really try and put something in to my running and try and get the best I've ever been at it. Like, I'm not the best runner, but I've never really tried to be a good runner so the fact that I didn't get into London Marathon was a little bit disappointing and yeah I think the best word to describe it is I just felt a little bit deflated. I did say to myself that if I wasn't going to get it I would do the virtual London Marathon but then last night I was thinking if you're going to do a marathon you want to do the London Marathon and there's no point in just going around your streets and doing one and putting your body through that but today my mindset has changed and I am about to sign up to my first marathon, it's going to be the virtual one, but I think I'm just going to go for it. Whether I do it or not is another story, but I think it'll be really cool to, to challenge myself and to learn more because as someone that is going into coaching and loves sport and wants to help people, I feel like putting a plan together for a marathon is going to be a really, really cool experience. So. Also, I, I don't know why I keep wearing this hat, it's just really, really comfortable. It's snowed again and I haven't had a haircut for a while, so enjoy the hat. Right, I've got the, the page up and let's, let's sign up for the virtual London Marathon. Secure payment. Oh, I've done it. Congratulations, you've successfully entered the virtual 2021 Virgin Money London Marathon. 3rd of October 2021. I'm doing a marathon. I'm doing a virtual marathon. I don't know how to feel about that. I feel a little bit nervous, a little bit scared, but I'm actually, wow, a marathon. So the reason why I'm making this video today is because I feel like Sundays are a really good opportunity to do vlogs and to show you my training and stuff like that. But Wednesdays could be a really good day to just kind of talk or show you a routine that I put together, whether it's stretching, whether it's a warm up routine or a strength routine. Wednesdays are just a really good opportunity to just do something a little bit different. So I wanted to talk a little bit about what my goals are now in terms of running, because I know I have done a 2021 goals video and I did kind of briefly discuss what I wanted to do with my running. But a few weeks ago, I didn't think I'd be doing a marathon and I definitely didn't think I would be this in love with running again and this passionate about it. So I sat down last night, thought about what goals I want to achieve this year in terms of PBs or anything else and I just wanted to just quickly make a video on it. So the biggest goal for me this year is to do racing. I ran for a long time on and off but I've never really had the confidence to actually do any races. Obviously you just see me sign up for the London Marathon, the virtual one, which is going to be an experience and that's probably going to be the, the big one of the year. But also I want to do some stuff throughout the year. So I'm signed up to the Manchester 10k, which is a week before the marathon. I've always wanted to do it. I've always wanted to beat my dad's time. So that's going to be really cool. And there's a few more that I've looked at, which I'm going to be signing up for some 5k's, 10k's, a couple of half marathons. So 
so we'll see with that but yeah racing is a massive thing for me this year so that I can gain more experience I can encourage more people to get into the sport and I can start designing my own kind of plans because they're probably going to be a little bit different to your standard running plan but but we'll see so the next few goals are pretty generic and I think I have discussed some of them before but I want to do more long runs I want to get my long run long and that's why I'm doing heart rate training zone 2 training whatever you want to call it so hopefully within the next few months I'm going to be doing actual long runs on a weekend and not just a 10k so that's a huge thing for me I also want to get my 10k PB my 5k PB and a big thing for me as well is I just want to become more resilient to running. I don't want to get injured. I want to put more things in place such as recovery, strength training and I just, yeah, I just don't want to become injured because I'm so injury prone and I think it's because I haven't been doing things right. So I'm going to be documenting that, how to become more, more of a resilient runner and yeah, injury. I probably will get some niggles, aches and pains here and there but I don't want an injury that's going to put me out for months again. So becoming more resilient to injury becoming a more resilient runner is probably the biggest goal of the year especially with a marathon to train for there's also things like nutrition i want to i'm currently learning nutrition at the minute i'm doing a personal training course so nutrition is a big thing for me because i'm pretty terrible at it it's not that i don't it's not that i eat bad or anything like that i just don't eat the things that i should be eating for what i'm doing so obviously i need to increase my carbs with the more running that I'm doing and the training that I'm going to be doing and yeah just stuff like that and just overall just increasing my knowledge further with the sport so that I can provide decent beginner advice help people get into it and hopefully create more resilient runners down the line. I also feel like I should mention as well that strength training is a massive part of what I do. I love going to the gym, I love lifting heavy and I feel like more runners should definitely be doing that so hopefully when the gym's open in a few weeks or even sooner than that i will be providing more advice on strength training what i'm doing to prevent injury to become stronger and try and put across to runners or just endurance athletes in general that you should be lifting heavy you should be getting under a barbell you should be squatting you should be deadlifting doing all your hinge movements all of that you should be doing doing strength training so again that's a big factor for me to put more routines together but also to document it on the channel as well anyway i think i've gone on enough on this video i don't particularly enjoy doing sit down videos because i just i don't know i like showing you things but i am excited i'm doing my first marathon and now that it's all official i've signed up to it i am oh, i'm buzzing it's just exciting because i get to pick my own route and it can be whatever route that i want it to be and yeah oh excited proper buzzing <laughs> anyway i hope you enjoyed the video please give it a like if you did there's going to be a new series on sundays which i've just briefly spoken about there's going to be other videos coming to do with something else and then eventually there's going to be the london virtual marathon series where i'm going to go through all of my training all of my highs and my lows and stuff like that so i'm going to shut up now just please subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next video